my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. Your place? You're gonna get there before me, Joe? You fat meatball? Hey over here! Move your friggin' cannoli! Oh God! Joe! I can't move him. Look at this. Fat ass. What a fat fuck! Hey over here! Oh, he's with the phone! That really burns my meatballs to a crisp. This is gross over here. Ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, you finally said over here. Over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell? How's my There's a goddamn door? <laughs> Punch in a minute, more like a second over here. I still got a meatball hanging out my shorts. Hey, hi. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Well, that's the only thing been pounding around here lately, Meatball. Let's go. It would be a shame Get if something happened to this. I'm just saying. I'm a horrible person. More dudes coming up. Oh, wow, wow, and your speaker. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just going to drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's got to be clean and it's got to be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while and he just found him. I'm afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's going to disappear. Yeah, here's a picture. What this guy do? He says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got to come. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? Or if he still is. Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. I hope you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other ones. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. The last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Who do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. <laughs> they sure say retard. Whenever they say it's going to be an easy mission, it never is. Especially in the Mafia. Also, all oh, I have. Uh, I'm in the tomato surprise special wagon. Looks like a tomato. That's been a little moldy on top. And that's disgusting.
Where are we? Hmm? Ah, uh, down the street. I don't need gas. Ah! Oh! I try to avoid cars because when you hit them, cops get on your ass. That's why it doesn't really make this too fun in free roam. Because I love the crash and this shit. Let's go cap this bitch in the suburbs. Yeah, so gangster. Remember yeah. what you got to see? Yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go then. You think you can raise a family peacefully here? Not on my watch, buddy. Trying to live the American dream, picket fences? Not on my watch, bitch. Look at him. Wiring his grass. What an asshole. Whoa. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. I am going over here. Suspect is off. This is Agent Cox. Thank you. Fort and Greenfield. Now, goddammit. Why do I have. Those were fakes. That asshole really wasn't. Whoa. Over here. Maybe you didn't know. No matter now. We got a loser. See ya. Get the heat off me. Get in there. There we go. Empire Bay Police Department, Sergeant Tomato speaking. I need to calm down the situation. Same as usual. All right, all right, you got it. Have somebody drop the cash off later. Nice. Now there's a cop there. That car's gonna be wanted. Yeah, you're honking at a parked car, asshole. God, with all these cops everywhere. Look at this. I want to take this car. Oh my god. The mission to find a car. As tedious as ever. Fuck yeah, it is. Come on, Joe. Where is he? God, fat ass. You fat meatball. <laughs> you think you just roll down the street over here? See if I remember how to do this. What the fuck? Copy that. Are you serious? No, dude. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Can I bribe you? Jesus Christ! Oh my god, this is breaking my meatballs. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. No problem. Possible grand theft auto. All right, shut the car off and get out of there. 
Okay, what? Right there, you want 50 more dollars? Oh my god, 100! Jeez, oh, but these are expensive cops! You look this small problem, can't you? Alright, I'll get out of here before I change my mind. Okay, Ovale, let me take your wagon. What the hell? You are expensive! I said bribe. I, p I put bribe. God. Joe, you almost fucked it up. These are expensive cops. I'll forget all about it. <laughs> Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. I need a vehicle, copper. That's why you just smash the shit. Oh, come on. What are they doing? They're not getting any money out of me anymore. They're like, hold on, guys. Just stay around. He's going to do it again. We can get more money out of this meatball. Fucking asshole. No, no, no. Just smash the shit, bitch. Oh, my God. Why was that so much easier? Over here! Ah, you're breaking my cannoli! Fucking A, what a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I just gave them like fucking almost $500. <laughs> I think $450, but fucking A, man. The restaurant was an opium den hidden underneath the joint. No doubt the reason for the disturbance. My marinara is really boiling over here. Jesus Christ, come on. Fucking serious? We're going 20 miles per hour. Oh my God. Son of a bitch. Not a good start to the mission. No, it's not. Oh, this mission's gonna suck. Killed an old guy. Shaved off his mustache. Oh, come on. Asshole. What the fuck am I listening to? A young meatball falls in love. He bends her over like a cherry turnover and spray his secret white marinara sauce all over her. That's gross. The sons of bitches were just staying there. Greedy fuckers. That's why I hate cops. I'm just, I just do, man. Ram lam a ding dong. <laughs> All right, good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later. Your place, you're gonna get there before me, Joe. You fat meatball? Hey, over here. Move your friggin' cannoli. Oh, God. Joe. I can't.
can't move them. Do this. Badass. Mr. Fat Ass Joe, give me a dream where you are thinner and get run over. Oh my god, there goes a telephone or a light bulb. For your Empire Central Radio news break, I'm rocking. I give you a newsy hey, break. News for all Son of a smokers. bitch. Despite the recent scientific study oh, about man. smoking could pose I tell health you. risks, tobacco companies maintain that <sighs> smoking too early for me to be getting so day, angry. <laughs> you young and thin, and get this, this shit. even promote healthy respiratory function. Oh boy, reassuring information at last from oh, companies fuck. that I'm sure would never lead us astray just to make a buck. I mean, come on. For These Empire commercials Central are funny. Radio, I'm rocking Ricky Fox. <laughs> rocking? What's what makes? Music, they're so happy, gay. What the hell's wrong with those people? <laughs> hey, over here, meatball! Oh my god. Whoa, what the hell's this? Why is there so many red screens? I can't move over here. My car suddenly decided to like try to stall out. Holy shit, over here. Red dots all over the place. They want to sit on my face. That's fucking gross. Yes, it fucking duty is. Man, come on, please. Where are you to help me then, bitch? Please don't give a fuck. Bunch of goddamn meatball haters. Since 1907, and nothing epitomizes yeah, that dream like the Schubert Beverly. From its eight cylinders of pure God muscle over to the flowing lines of its new lightweight steel body panels. Oh the my Schubert God, I can't cut through over here. Proud to have in your oh, yes, painful. The <laughs> Style, performance, and quality. There we go, I it's made it. Wow, I'm surprised. Goes into every yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am. Since 1907. Huh. Man, this fucker is off. Dick me over. What a bitch. Hey. Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this dead bitch didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? 
All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Look tough over here, of course, in my nice black shirt. <laughs> look tough with a fucking gun. I'm, I'm, I don't want this gun, do I? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, man, I don't have any bullets. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This one's better. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? What? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. <laughs> so, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did, John. Now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? Ay, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad Trap that night. We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust? Me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all oh, the things. You all wet, Steve. You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. Eh, should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow this is me, crazy. guys. Yeah. Shouldn't be doing this. He took and handle himself. Right over here. <laughs> Oh, there's that Steve dude. He gives Steve's a bad name. Oh! It tripped over here! Oh, that was fucking hilarious. Meatball.
Oh, I got that son of a bitch. Motherfucker. There we go. Fucking tummy gun for this bitch. Stay down, turkey. Fucking take my father, my familiar, you son of a bitch! Think I fucking play, fatty? When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Oh, are you? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. This is pretty oh fuck. Holy fuck. Come on, you want to play rough? Okay. We can play it rough. Hmm. You know, this has just been so difficult. I think I, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna take a little ride. You know, screw this. Screw this mission. I already went through it twice. Man. Holy cannoli over here. You know, this thing is like breaking my meatballs. Literally over here. So you know what? You know, I'm gonna go and sleep with the holy fucking fishes over here. Holy over here. Oh man, what a dip. Oh, where are my guns? There we go. So there we go. We had to go take a dip. Look at that. It doesn't even look like I'm wet. Nice. You know, I'm a young uh, cannoli trying to make it in this world. But you know what? They want to break my balls. And you know what? I can't have that. I'm sorry, game. I can't have that, game. I was having some issues. So I went and swam with the fishes. You know, you know what that does? I'll tell you what that does. Some bitch game. You take your car, you sleep with the fishes. Look at that. It closes the door over here. Yeah, I do. It closed the door over here. And I'm like, hey, you ain't gonna break my meatball anymore. I'm gonna go in your fucking office, Derek. I'm gonna sp spray your own marinara. Here we go. There's a son of a bitch. Oh, what's wrong, Derek? You can't hit me, you fat son of a bitch. Where is he? There we go. I like, I like the steel on the windows. Look, okay, I can shoot through the bar. Where's he at? Ow, man. Son of a bitch. Holy shit over here. Look at him get clever. I'm so glad the other mafioso can't... They don't know how to open doors, but I do. You know, I like it. How'd the fuck you hit me, bitch? Am I hitting him? <laughs> oh shit over here. Bad time to reload, buddy. There's another one coming upstairs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> See, this is much nicer, isn't it? You know... You can enjoy the game. 
Don't have to worry about these meatballs ruining it for you. He's right there. Hi. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. And it's good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. What are you, the last boss to the boss? He's like, yeah, I'm going to run the corporation now. There's another one. Oh, shit, over here. It's the real last boss. Frank, the tank. <laughs> Oh man, Frank almost got me! Oh shit over here. Oh man, Frank the Tank almost took over Derek's business and almost had his way with me. Oh my god, that was so terrifying. <laughs> the god over here. What's this? Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Damn. I didn't do anything else. Damn. All right. What the hell happened to that car? What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense. We were never here. What the? Why is the tires going? Can I get in there? The hell? Did you guys get my car out of the water and put it like this? The fuck is wrong with you guys? What the hell's wrong? Bunch of assholes. <laughs> they dug my car out. Rob shot. What? No. Oh. I need a car. Holy fuck, do I? Oh my god. So there you go, there's the bad thing to it. If you do that, your car will just end up on its back or on its side like a bitch. Oh, come on, there's gotta be a vehicle over here. There's a big ass lot in here. Oh my. That's not the car. What the f How come I don't get to lockpick this? Oh, come on, there. Oh, there's a Where the hell am I going? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, I'll just start driving. Excuse me, old man. I just killed some meatballs. Look at this meatball with the diesel on, bitch. Yeah, over here. Who wants to mess with this canola? Can I just go home? Is that the... Oh, Joe's apartment? I, I guess. I don't know. I'm doing it. Oh, my God, over here. You crashed into me. Because this thing's hard as shit in the fucking turn. Really? You're going to mess with the diesel, bitch. The meatball diesel. I run on marinara, motherfucker. <laughs> my God. I should not be in this vehicle. I think I give a fuck what the cops think about me. <laughs> Fucking run into these bitches. Not really, because I don't want to fuck up. What the fuck? Look at that dumb. It should be like, boo. Put some bass up in this bitch. <laughs> I gotta go to speed limit. I'm sorry. Because there's a cop coming up. Diesel. Holy shit, to see the new mob with the diesel and truck stop. God, God almighty. Stop.
mafia. What? Rob? Fuck you. For what? For the money? That's what I have to do. Oh, man. Can I bring him this one? I should have enough money, no? I don't know. I got fucking 25. Oh, really? 20. Shit. Well, paint my ass and call me Sally. Rob Shops? Fuck. Oh, man. Where's that guy at? Bruno? Will, 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 he, will he take this? Thank you, game. That's why I said it, you dumb fuck. Your waypoint's been set. No shit, Sherlock. Let's see if he takes a big motherfucking truck. God, don't. Fuck you! Hit and run this, bitch. Think I give a fuck? Look at that, the cop. He doesn't want any. He's far behind like a bitch. He don't want to mess with the big mafioso fucking truck. Fuck no! Big fucking truck. The Bruno Beefcake over here. He better take my fucking diesel car. He won't be sleeping with the fishes. Then maybe he could kill there too. Should be to why eat a fucking. Oh, I was on smashing that car, but there was a cop. What a bitch. Ah, oh, big motherfucking trucks. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Oh my god. Look at that. The cop doesn't care. Huh? Um, I never had to do this over here, except the one mission. You serious? Do I, all right. Oh, whatever. I guess I will crush it over here. I thought. I Can't fit. It's too big, Bruno. My beef is too big. Okay, it's good enough. <laughs> Bruno beefcake, my beef stick's too big. <laughs> Come on. Maybe I can back into it over here. My God, I'm making this mission fucking impossible for me. <laughs> you know what? I just have to make everything more difficult for myself. I'm sorry, I just do it. <laughs> you know, I, I I just do. Should be doing. Backing up in your caboose. Ah, give me what's the foos. Oh God, you motherfucker! There. That's as good as I can do it. Crush that bitch. Oh my god, it worked. Is it working? Did it work? <laughs> Look at 
at the front, you can see it. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go, I crushed it. I got it. Now that's how you do it, meatball. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> hey over here. Yay! Four hundred dollars. That's it. I'm fucking doing this car too, then. Give a fuck. Look at that. I need. I wasn't gonna take this one. Get away. Fuck it. <laughs> I just have to hit something. I'm sorry. Where the hell did that truck go? The fucking cube over here. It's a square meatball. <laughs> I just threw it in there. I'm like, fuck this shit. There we go. Oh my god. I need fucking money in the worst way. Is there a car? Any, any car is not safe over here. Probably not, probably not helping I'm damaging it too. Oh man, meatball! <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> hey over here, where did this come from? There you go, just run around the block. Dude, smash that shit! What the fuck's wrong with you, Vito? Just smash that fucking shit. I'm just gonna go in a circle then. See if I can keep spawning stuff. <laughs> and just, you know, rack it up so I can get some, uh, this looks nice. Has the busted window, hopefully that's not too much off, huh? Oh, do I? Do I game? I just fucking crushed two cars, you son of a bitch! Goddamn game. Yay, over here. 400. Oh, I got enough money. Oh, no, I don't. All right, let's take a, let's take a jog around the block. <laughs> Running in my black suit. What do you want to do? What's all a boot? Fucking A, man. Please respond, please respond, please respond, <laughs> please respawn. Uh, did it work, Meatball? Fuck, oh, I think so, I see something red. I see something nice and red, like a Meatball. Oh, nice. Smash that shit, bitch. <laughs> there we go, very nice. Now I, I have to run around again to get a getaway vehicle. We have a brand new invention called the videotape recorder machine. It's video a tape recorder images machine. Are captured in a sequence, much fuck like man. motion picture film, but using magnet. Oh my god, fuck you game with the hints. Yeah, I'm just gonna run around the block. I'll figure a response on. You have collected enough money. Go see Joe. You want to give it a go? Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a really dumb way to do this. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to go back out in the city. You know, that would, that would suck. Yes, it would suck. Alright, hopefully we got a vehicle we can get away with. <laughs> watch the one time I do this. Well, I see one now. But watch the one time where I need one to get out. It won't spawn. <laughs> This is a nice car. Look at that. I like it. It almost it reminds me of the meatball wagon. All right, let's go, Vito. Let's take a nice ride. You know, let's take this game. Fuck, Mambo. Give you something to Mambo. Oh. 
like news break. Lives. Let's listen. Hey, some crazy news from the lab coats about your smokes, my friends. A recent study in a scientific journal, sounds important, found that cigarette smoking may cause pulmonary disease and even <laughs> lung cancer. <laughs> Sorry, but hey kids, until I find out how reliable that study is, this fine young man is still gonna breathe easy and enjoy his big break blues. For Empire Central God. News, I'm rocking Ricky Fox. God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Watch it out, fucking bitch! I'm fucking raging in the 50s. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you got your turn? Well, fucking make your turn. Make your turn, bitch. Make your turn. This is how I drive in real life, too. <laughs> So guys, I hope you're enjoying the Mafia 2 playthrough before I miss my mic. You know, it's a fun game to play through. Uh, I know I did on a stream, that demo a long time ago. I always wanted to play it. I don't know. Got it when it was cheap. Bought it again on PC when it was on cheap too. When it was cheap. And that, that's a big reason why I don't really stream as much with my schedule. And, um, because it'll be at weird times. Very weird for everybody. Okay, over here, let's go see Joe. Let's see if he wants to give it a go. I don't know, but I'm thinking these two are a little homo. Yeah, no. Give that springy bed a rest over here. Alright, let's see what Joe wants. Joe wasn't home. At first, I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Hey, Joe. Oh, fuck. What the hell's going on with Joe? Damn. Well, we didn't know those guys were after me when I was coming back, so maybe Joe wasn't so lucky. I don't know. Oh, man. There's enough death over there. Oh, man. I don't want to see another meatball get whacked. Yeah, it's almost nighttime. Let me go with no lights on my car. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Sweet ass mafia jump. <laughs> I'm surprised my car didn't get stuck sideways again. You flash your lights at me, I don't have lights, asshole.
carpet, bitch. I scared him. I scared you over here. You got a problem, bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, there's a door over here. <laughs> Vito. Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe's with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his head in the ground. Let me just get out of here. For EPLA and Empire Classic Radio, <laughs> social unrest has emerged from the darkest... What do you want? They just gave you a license back then. They didn't give you a training or any parallel parking. Oh, fuck. You're going to be T-boned. <laughs> you know, it's a bad thing when I say you're going to get T-boned before I even get to them. Just showing I don't care about the cars. We'll have more on this story, perhaps at a later time. For ECLA Empire Classic Radio, I'm Gary Stevens. God, that guy's gonna run into it. <laughs> oh man, what's going on? A very eerie. Fuck. Oh god. No one saw that. Um. What the hell am I doing? Huh. <laughs> hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Is he here today? I don't know, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Baba de Oh. I care yourself. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a fucking asshole. Shut up. Baba de Boopy. Man, look, there's a Model T out here. Where's my car? Yeah. <laughs> I leave the door open still? What's wrong with me?
Bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. 